guys, welcome back to another episode of 12-Inch Figure Fanatic. These next three videos are going to actually be from the, um, the Stranger Things line by 3-0. First, we're going to do 11 today. Next week, we're going to do Dustin. And then we're going to finish off with the Demogorgon uh, for the third video. So uh, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. I still have quite a few figures I'm catching up on that I uh, got while I was deployed that I have to do unboxing and reviews on. So let's take a closer look at 11. All right, so a lot of us have been looking forward to this figure for a while before it came out. Um, obviously, she is the, the one that holds the show together. She's the main character. And um, just a real well-rounded actress as well. So looks like we got a uh, Velcro closure window. You'd figure it would have some kind of catchphrase or quote of hers from the show in, in here somewhere, but not to be seen. And 3 Zero usually doesn't disappoint. I don't think I've ever done a unboxing and review of a 3 Zero figure that just really disappointed me. Got a uh, set of instructions here, a description, and then a warranty sheet. I don't think I've ever seen a warranty sheet with a figure. This is something new. All right. So here she is. And this is, I think, uh, circa season one, where she's got the, uh, the short hair and she's a little younger. All the cast members aged pretty quickly on during the course of the show, but that's what happens when you get that age demographic uh, in, a, in a series. But um, let's take this plastic off here. Yeah, it's, it's a nice figure. Um, it looks like uh, it could use a little bit more dimension in the painting. The head sculpt itself is fantastic, but the painting could use a little bit uh, better layout, um, including on the hair, because it's just sort of the paint job on that is just sort of one dimensional. And it's got a, a zipper jacket, but um, let's see. It looks like the, the jacket does zipper, although it would be pretty tight because um, it, is, it is a pretty snug uh, tailoring to the jacket. Full dexterity um, in the wrist as well. Uh, the dress is nicely creased. And I like that the socks are not sculpted. Um, you would expect to see maybe a, a sculpt built into the leg, but this is actually a sock. So that, I appreciate that they did that. However, um, you know, the, there is some of the knee exposed. So a seamless body might have been more attractive to use for this type of figure. Anytime you have uh, exposed leg or exposed arms, I always lend to um, appreciate the the seamless bodies, the use of the seamless bodies. And she's wearing the uh, the chucks there. It's a sculpt, but it's, it's so nicely done that you can't tell. It looks like it might be material with actual lace. And it's weathered appropriately too. Nice little three zero, miniature three zero logo on the bottom. Um, obviously they didn't have the licensing to use the all-star logo in there, but Somebody could easily create a decal and print it out and uh, apply that to there so that it's more screen accurate. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solid figure overall. Let's see what else we got here. So we have an extra head sculpt, and this is uh, one with the bloody nose, because she'd always get that bloody nose after she used her powers too long. Right? Uh, we've got some... Two waffles. Now, I would have liked maybe to have one with a bite out of it. Uh, having two identical just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, either have one or have two with one of them with a bite. But, 
or even a box. Hell, I might even do that myself is uh, print out uh, a box, a mini box and, and have them inserted into there. Definitely extra hands. So you got a you got a total of seven hands, so more than enough. Now, granted, she's you know, she's doing a lot with her hands in the show. She's using her powers, so you have like this, you know, mind bending thing going on with her hands with this. Maybe both of them are like that. So I appreciate that. Definitely enough hands. And then you've got her, her gown from when she was part of the experiment that she escaped from. I forget what that uh, facility was. It was kind of the cover story was that it was like Department of Energy or something, if I remember correctly. So it's got some weathering to it. You can see some, some sort of dirt stain to it. So I appreciate that they did that. And then the, looks like the back is Velcro closure. Um, but they do it in such a way where it looks like it's, uh, it's tied like a real uh, hospital gown. I don't think I would ever display it using this. I'd probably keep it in the outfit it's currently in. Um, she was more frequently seen in that than, than the hospital gown. But uh, yeah, let me give you my final thoughts on this and set it up. All right, so I did switch out the hands just because I, I like the way it looks like this, like she's you know in, in, in motion um, using her powers. Uh, it was easy to do so, so switching out those hands is no problem at all. Um, overall, I mean, this is a great figure. The only reason I would dock points is, is just because the, the legs just I don't know, they look a little Pinocchio-ish. Um, I would prefer to seamless uh, legs at least. And the uh, the head sculpt itself, although I, uh, you know, considering that, that it's it's sculpted so well, they could have just gone all the way and actually done a great, a better paint job on it as well. Um, but it is it is a great head sculpt. I'm not I'm not going to deny that. And the detailing on the clothing is. Um, above, definitely above average, and I really appreciate that they used real socks and the weathering on those socks as well. Um, overall, I'm gonna give this figure a, uh, uh, an 8.5. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it's an exceptional figure, and it makes me look forward to uh, opening up Dustin in my next episode. See you then.